Slag was introduced back in Borderlands 2 as essentially an element that would debuff enemies and make it a whole lot easier to kill uh, and get through all the different walls that they had. And it was actually a really cool element until it essentially became such a huge crutch for every single build into the OP levels in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode that it just left a bad taste in players' mouth. Now, fast forward into 2022 with Wonderlands, and we essentially have re-added it into the game. What's going on everybody, Birdman here back with another Wonderlands video. Today I'm going to be showing how Gearbox essentially re-added slag, or should I say selective slag, into Wonderlands under a uh, class mod, a spell, and a rocket launcher that uh, came with the Coiled Captors DLC. Now, know that you can follow me over on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch at Birdman778 and use code BIRD at GFIELD checkout. We're going to be talking about this awesome setup and how essentially it's going to buff up every single build out there. Now, let's hop right on in. So this entire slag-like replica is going to come from a new mechanic called Soaked. Soaked is actually applicable from a class mod, a spell, and a rocket launcher. So you have a couple different ways to apply it, but I'm mainly using it on the class mod. What it reads is, Critical hits have a 25% chance to create a water nova that applies soaked on the targets uh, for a duration increase. The duration of all soaked effects by 50%, and soaked enemies take 150% more damage from lightning and frost, but less damage from fire. Now, obviously that makes sense. Enemies that are covered in water aren't going to be affected by fire, but it does make perfect sense that <laughs> ones uh, that are are going to be affected by lightning and frost. Now, frost is already an absolute crazy element in this game, and honestly. I think shock is a really solid one as well with different combinations with the live wire but essentially again this is going to add that huge extra damage boost to all your builds because if you are using those two different elements on anything they're going to be buffed to high hell I have been using it right now for my barbarian build and is amazing with the wailing banshee for the fact that the wailing banshee projectiles are able to proc this soak uh, it is really cool, and it's also the fact that it's an elemental uh, frost one. So whenever the is procced on an enemy, the soaked is, and then the next one would hit them, they're going to take even more damage. Now, from what I've been told, it's actually only 50% more damage, but it's 50% more damage to lightning and frost. So again, that's a huge buff and boost to all this, especially for the fact that it's essentially just debuffing enemies and making them take even more damage. So be expecting to see a whole lot of uh, frost and lightning builds coming out here soon using this new class mod now do you know it's also again on a rocket launcher i've actually seen my homie moxie uh using it on his stream it looks pretty solid all around and there's also the spell that essentially kind of like the glacial cascade it sends out a tidal wave that's going to inflict them with this but honestly i i think the class mod is going to be the best option all around essentially for the fact that you're just all you have to do is get a critical hit on an enemy and it'll affect it. And it doesn't matter what the critical hit is. As long as it is a critical hit, they will be inflicted with this soak. Uh, I I just can't believe that they would even add something like this in the game uh, at this point. Especially, again, post-slag. Uh, I, I, it's just kind of incredible that uh, we have this type of mechanic in here. But honestly, I really do like it for the fact that it is that selective, I would say, slag. It's only going to do it to do two different elements rather than just being a flat, just debuff across the board so it's not like you could take like any build in with this and it's going to absolutely nuke them they has to use lightning or frost in it but this is going to be great for claw bringers uh going to be great for berserkers specifically probably the most and anybody who's just using all these different elemental style builds i think stabomancer is going to take a huge advantage of this especially for the fact that you have different skills that are able to just inflict status effects uh like frost and lightning on an enemy when they're already soaked uh it, and then you got different things like exploit their weakness where they're going to become even more debuffed. A lot of cool stuff here. Uh, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? That's kind of up to you at the end of the day. Uh, personally, I think it's pretty neat. Um, mainly off the fact that it is, again, selective. But I can definitely see the points where people are like, oh my gosh, they're just adding slag again. This is going to ruin the game. Uh, it's going to cause more chaos levels to be, have to be added in here. And the scaling stuff to get crazier because of this one specific thing. I don't think there's any need to panic right now about that, but I will say if, if they continue to do things like this, where essentially, again, it's just adding these weird debuffs and all that stuff to the game, um, I see a reason to worry. But at least for right now, it's it's a pretty cool new thing. Again, the fact that it also works well with the new Season Pass uh, DLC, the Coil Captors, since it's kind of like an aquatic-themed everything, especially with Chum the Old God, uh, I'm not too worried about it. But I will say I have been absolutely nuking bosses using this setup. I'm able to uh, less than I would say half of like 
two to three seconds uh the uh water based secret boss um you're gonna see here in a second i'm able to just nuke uh son of a witch uh, it's just kind of incredible all around but uh, i don't really see any worry about it at this very second but maybe in the future Thanks so much for stopping by this video. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Let me know down below if you like the new DLC, Quilled Captors, yes or no. I've heard a lot of complaints, honestly, just because of the length of it, uh, the fact that it, it didn't have a whole lot of content on it. I think, it, I think it's not too terrible just for the fact that uh, for what they've explained for like the weekly seasonal activities of it and how it's going to continue. I think it fits the model pretty perfectly, but I can see like, I think we need a, maybe a little bit more content in here to kind of like juice it up. But uh, what is also your opinion of this new soaked mechanic? Do you think it's too overpowered? What What's your thoughts on it? But regardless, thanks so much. Uh, make sure you follow me over on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch at Birdman778 using code BIRD at GFuel checkout. We will be having a 30% off day here soon, so make sure you're stepping on by. But regardless, thank you so much for stopping by the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up and have a good one.